Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna go over what I think is the best microphone boom arm for the $100 and under price range. The Rode PSA-1 boom arm. It's super quick to set up, extremely well built, smooth, flexible, and durable. Now I've had the PSA-1 boom arms for quite a while now. I've used it across various podcasts in various studios. I really do love them. They're very durable and they are affordable, but they don't sacrifice quality. And that's one of my favorite aspects about this how well it works for the price. Now, the two most important traits for a mic boom arm is the ability to be flexible without having any drift. For example, moving it into any position where it doesn't start to sag or it doesn't pop back up, it just stays in place. That and how quiet it is when you're actually doing movement. So sometimes you have a guest on a podcast and they're moving the microphone every time they move their position on their seat and you don't want it to be squeaky or noisy when making those movements. Now, when it comes to the Rode PSA-1, this handles both of those things perfectly. It actually can stay in any position, whether it's fully extended or bent, and it doesn't drift, doesn't move. I can leave it like this for days, and there's no movement whatsoever, as well as it is so quiet. It doesn't make any sound. I'm gonna stop talking now and just move this around. Now, if you hear any sound, it's actually probably from my chair, or even from the desk itself, like with my little uh, Funko Pops here, but the actual sound from the boom arm, there really isn't any, it's extremely quiet. One of the other awesome aspects of the PSA-1 is how simple it is to set up. So this actually comes with two different mounting options. One that can easily mount onto desk several inches thick. Just go ahead and adjust it to make sure that it fits. And then there is a padding where the top of the desk will touch against the mount and now this keeps your desk from getting scratched. So even if you put the mount pretty tight on your desk, it shouldn't scratch or leave any damage marks. Now the clamp itself is made of metal and extremely hard plastic, so it's very durable, it doesn't crack. I haven't had any issues with this at all on any of my setups. And once you have this tightened up on your desk, all you do is put the boom arm into the slot and there it is, that's all you need to do. You don't need to tighten anything, you don't have to worry about it falling out, and it does give you 360 degrees of rotation. It's really super simple to set up. Now, if you don't wanna use the desk clamp, which clamps to the edge of a desk, and you wanna have your boom arm more positioned in the center of your table or desk, they do have another mounting option here, but with this one, you'll need to actually make a hole into your desk for this to fit through. Now, with this option, you'll only be able to go into a desk that's about two inches thick, but then you'll be able to put this directly into the desk and then tighten this underneath to make sure that it stays tight. And then also, same thing as with the clamp, there is a space where you just place the boom arm and it's ready to go. Now, this is probably the better option if you have a really wide or big desk where the boom arms are gonna be too far away from the actual person. Now, the horizontal reach of the PSA-1 is 32 inches or 82 centimeters, and it has a vertical reach of 33 inches or 84 centimeters. And it can hold up to mics that are 2.4 pounds or 1.1 kilogram. And it does have a dual axis swivel mount for accurate positioning. Now let's talk about the construction and the build. This thing is rock solid. Nothing about it feels cheap at all. It's composed of mostly metal. Again, you don't need to make any adjustments to this. You don't have to actually tie in any of the screws, though you can, but you don't need to. Right out of the box, it works great. And then at the tip of the boom arm, you do have a standard 3 8 inch mount. Now it also does come with an adapter for a 3 8 inch to a 5 8 inch mount. And then you do have two tightening knobs to keep its position of the actual mount, as well as a tightening knob for when the mic is in place or a shock mount. Now, when it's fully tightened, it actually gives you full 360 degree rotation of the microphone without it loosening the actual main knob of the mount. That's really awesome, very important, because it's great to be able to move the mic in any direction without worrying about this coming loose. Now here, as you guys can see, I'm actually using a shock mount attached to this. So you could put a mic directly here with a simple mic holder, but here I have a shock mount. This is the Rode PSM-1, and it's actually designed for the Procaster mic or for the Podcaster mic, both made by Rode. Now, personally, I really love using shock mounts because shock mounts help absorb any vibration, so it lessens any sound from handling, and it definitely helps make it a lot better and looks pretty dope too. So I highly recommend using a shock mount with whatever microphone you're using. My personal mic of choice when it comes to podcasting is the Rode Procaster. Now, when it comes to the design and cable management, the PSA-1 is a little bit outdated when it comes to modern looking boom arms. 
Many new boom arms actually have an enclosed tube style design where the microphone is inside, so it's hidden. However, this one does not, though it does come with some Velcro strips so you can actually tighten up the mic cable along the top of the boom arm. Honestly, that's pretty much the only thing I kind of don't like about this boom arm is that you see the mic cable, but realistically, it's not a deal breaker for me. It doesn't really affect performance at all. And I do have it all blacked out with a black cable. So it's really not even that noticeable. I really do love the boom arm overall and I'm very satisfied. And again, I've tested many different boom arms. I've owned different ones. This is definitely my favorite one. It's durable, robust. It works right out of the gate. Literally within minutes you have it set up and it's good to go. The Rode PSA One Boom Arm retails for only 100 US dollars. And if you're interested in getting it, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.